I'm curious. <laughs> Was there ever a time, a point in your life where you either had a mentor or somebody you looked up to that really believed in you mm-hmm. at a point in your life where you didn't believe in yourself too much? Um, yes. Um, after I had my first child, I the role that I'd had before I went on maternity leave had actually been outsourced to an external company. So I was, I was in limbo for the entire time that I was on maternity leave, which was quite an uncomfortable place for me to be in because I, I like to kind of know what's happening. And um, Hello, Gemini. <laughs> 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 and um, I have a tend- tendency to catastrophize as well. So um, I came back to um, a different organisation to the one that I'd left and there was a new... Um, I think Chief Digital Officer was was her title at the time, um, who who I guess at that time was was trying to hire for a role. Didn't know me, mm. but HR kind of said, "Well, look, you know, Ruth's coming back from maternity leave. We're not sure, you know, what role she's going to look to to go into." And I guess when you return from from maternity leave, um, it's a very it can be a very challenging time. So I knew that I didn't want to be a stay at home mum, and it's probably taken me. So my um, my eldest is seven and a half. Um, it's probably taken me a good five, six years to be comfortable saying that out loud mm, because, you know, yeah. there's a lot of stigma or there can be a lot of stigma and judgment around that. But my children get the best out of me when I'm at work and they have that balance of me because otherwise I'm not I'm not ha- I'm not um, 100 percent happy. And um, but when you come back that first time, the first day I was back, I was like, wow, this is so good to be back and have, you know, to only have to think about me from nine till five. And then the second day I was like, why am I here? Why am I doing this? That fast? Yeah. It was, it was the weirdest up and down kind of feeling I've ever had. And it was, I've spoken to a couple of other moms who've returned to work and, and some of them, it takes them a month, a week, you know, yeah, someone's they, quick. They yeah. never get, they never feel that way. But for me, it was just the second day. The reality kicked in on the second day, and um, Kelly, my my boss at the time, um, also had three young kids. Um, you know, was was catapulting through her career and still is. Um, and she just made me feel like I could do it both. I could do both, and that I would be okay with doing both. And there would be times that I felt guilty. And I still have that guilt sometimes, but I just know how to deal with it now. And she um, encouraged me to be the person I had been before I left, to still put my hand up, to still put in that discretionary effort, but to do it on my terms, right? So to find that work-life balance as it worked for me. And she was also someone who um, led on outcomes, which is how I operate. I don't really care where you are, what time you're working as long as you're delivering on the outcomes and as soon as you're not then we're having a different conversation but until that point go for gold because people work better I work better in the mornings I'm useless after about you know 3 30 in the afternoon and other people it's the reverse I'm glad we're having this podcast at 3 30 30. Um, but I think she just um I think that the reason that she made it worked for me then when I was probably at a low point was because she'd done it and her career aspirations were probably always going to be higher than mine my natural career aspirations because I'm very much a self-doubter but she just in a um just in a very nurturing and empowering way just told me I could do it and and she offered me bigger roles very quickly after that and and that was on merit it wasn't because I was the only person that was on merit and naturally that made me feel like I could still do it mm. um so that's that's probably that that's probably the wow. experience I had Ruth, then th- thanks for sharing that because that, that's a personal journey there and and I guarantee there are a lot of people out there not only females but males as well yeah who will go on on maternity leave and paternity leave as well, and and, and they it, it's they'd be feeling like that when they come back. But yep. it, like, so you're you're a voice of encouragement and inspiration. So thank you so much no for problem. that. I really appreciate that.